This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to lock the navigation of the viewport when using Spotlight for texturing? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I have a tire model loaded in. So now I want to start applying textures to this model, and I want to use Spotlight to apply the texture. So to use Spotlight, first I'm going to navigate up here to my texture palette. And I'm just going to import in a texture map here. And this is just a wheel texture here from textures.com. I'm just going to open that up. And after you have that texture loaded into ZBrush, we just need to navigate back to our texture palette, select that texture again, and then click Add to Spotlight. Now after you click this button, you're going to notice the light box is going to open up. So we need to hit comma on our keyboard to close that. And now you should see your texture here, and it should have the light box ring visible. From here we can apply different effects to this texture, such as like scaling and moving it around, and basically just matching it to fit uh, your model on screen here. After you have it set to your liking, just hit Z to hide the little spot white wheel there. And then you can navigate to a brush like the standard brush, turn on RGB, turn off Z add, and then come through on your model, and whatever is visible on the texture is going to be transferred from that texture to your model. So it's almost like a decal transferring process here. And this will allow you to come through and use any texture maps inside of Spotlight here to paint these different details directly on your mesh, like so. So the question is asking if there is a way to lock your model now while you're using this process. Because as you're sculpting on it, it works pretty well. But if you click off by accident and drag, you'll notice it's going to do a navigation transform. So as you can see here, I'm now rotating the model in space. Well, if you just spent quite a bit of time trying to align your model up to this texture, and now you've accidentally clicked off, you now have to go back and try to realign that mesh back to that perfect alignment again so you can continue painting. So the question is asking if there's a way to lock this so that won't happen. So there isn't a exact solution for this, but there is a workflow you can do to alleviate this. So we're gonna first navigate over here to the document panel up here, and I'm gonna open up this Zap Links property tab. Now, when this is opened up, you're gonna see you have all these kind of buttons here. Now, these buttons are going to allow you to store your camera information that you currently have on your model. So if I come through now and just click this Custom 1 button here, you're gonna see it's going to store that into Custom 1. And now if I come back to my canvas here and move the model around, maybe set it to the side all the way over here, and now I want to return it back to where it was and how it aligned to that spotlight image, I simply go back to that document tab, go to that zap link properties area, and now re-click that custom button again, and it's going to automatically return the model exactly back to that location. So using this, you can come through and start painting on your model, and then if you accidentally click off on it like so, just go back to that document tab, go back to that zap link properties, click custom, and it's going to return it back to that exact position. So that will hopefully alleviate some of those issues if you accidentally click off and rotate your model while you're using Spotlight for texturing. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!